If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is happening, guys? Clickwood here back again with some more Madden NFL 17 information. Guys, today what we're talking about is some information that we got regarding solo challenges. And this is actually coming partially from a video from Moonlight Swami, which I will leave a link to in the description below. He actually has some gameplay of how this whole thing works and, uh, and also some information from one of the EA producers on Twitter. So both of these things combined give us some really cool insight as far as what's going to be happening in solo challenges for this year's Madden game. Now, I again, I will leave a link to Moonlight Swami's uh, video in the description below. Make sure you go check that out. Uh, he makes good content as well. We don't always agree on everything, and sometimes we get a little heated on Twitter, but he's still a good dude. So, uh, again, I will leave a link to that in the description below. Now, with that being said, guys, let's talk about these new solos that are in Madden NFL 17 Ultimate Team. We've got a couple of cool things about them. First of all, you're still going to have the standard old school solos, just like we always have the ones that you start at the beginning, you end at the end, you know, the standard solo challenge. But there's still also going to be ones like the journey last year that are kind of like the NFL moments where you start at a dynamic point in the game and you finish the game out and you win uh, at the end of the game. You know, either kick a field goal to win it or, you know, you have to make a stop and score a touchdown on the next drive to win it. Standard ones like that. But there's also going to be a third style of solo challenges coming into the game this year. Again, we had the ones that started at the beginning, ended at the end, ones that started at a dynamic point and ended at the very end of the game. But now we have ones that both are dynamic in the point that where they start, as well as the point that they end at, which is kind of cool. And these are kind of like a hybrid between them. And instead of actually trying to win the game, what you're trying to do is accomplish a certain goal. So basically what you'll have to do for example, is run the ball five times on one drive. So that means that obviously you're going to have to pick up some first downs in order to do that. Now, uh, again, we don't know exactly how these things are going to shake out. The, the one that Moonlight Swami has a, a video of here is just one example. We don't know if that's been changed from the point that he made this video because he went down there and got a pre-release uh, from the video. Um but or from from the game, excuse me, he got to play it before it came out. But the point that that we have here is that these are going to be kind of the concepts, right? So you're going to have somewhere you have to pass the ball a certain amount of times, somewhere you might have to, uh, you know, make a stop on defense or even intercept a pass potentially, things like that. Uh, but all of them have a certain goal that you have to accomplish to win them. On top of that, there's also going to be additional goals that you can do that are kind of like bonuses. So things like maybe you might have one like, again, where you have to run the ball five times, but there might also be a, a, a goal in there where you can actually pick up a 20-yard run or something like that. And if you pick up a 20-yard run along with accomplishing the rest of the solo challenge goal, you also are going to get a bonus on top of that original solo uh, challenge goal. So that makes it pretty cool. It makes it so that you can either grind and just complete it real quick quickly, or you can go in there and do your best to actually get those bonuses as well. So it's kind of going to be interesting to see how all of that breaks out. But I think what's cool about this is that it's not just going to be a repetitive thing. You know, last year I made a video and in, in previous years, I've made videos about how to easily win solo challenges just using one play. But when we're looking at these type of solo challenges, you're going to have to mix it up because you're not just going to be able to run the ball every time. Sometimes you're going to have to pass or sometimes you might have to, again, play defense, various different things like that. So uh, it's going to make things, I think, more interesting, a little bit more challenging, but I also think it's going to make them more fun and unique. So uh, it should be a lot of fun. I'm excited to see how it all works out. A couple other cool things here regarding this. Uh, first of all, you can also restart solo challenges within the game. So in previous years, what you had to do is if you didn't complete it, let's say I, I needed to score and I accidentally threw an interception or something like that and I knew I wasn't going to get the ball back, well, I'm probably just going to quit the game, go all the way back through the menus, and I have to go through the loading screens and things like that, reload the game, start it up again, everything like that, and that can take minutes or you know it can take a really long time, and it's really frustrating when that happens. Well, now what's cool is that you can actually restart it right within the game. There's going to be a, an actual thing for you to restart it within your start menu or your pause menu to restart the game. So that's going to be really cool. It's going to save us a lot of time, uh, especially if you're first learning the game. You know, if you don't know what works and what doesn't, you don't know the blitzes that you need to run or what offensive plays that you need to run, what kind of money plays there are. 
it, it's it can be frustrating when you're first doing the solo challenges. I remember when I was first getting started, it took me a long time to get it down where I could win them pretty much every single time. So I understand that it's going to be still frustrating, obviously, to lose those solo challenges, but this is going to make it substantially less frustrating, in my opinion, because you're just going to be able to click that one button and restart it. Uh, the other cool thing that we learned today from one of the uh, Madden developers or one of the Madden producers, excuse me, Jake Stein, is that uh, you can... Can actually restart the solo challenges within the game and it will not consume your contracts so for example again if you did not complete it and you weren't able to, to actually win the solo challenge you can restart it and not use up your contracts but the other cool thing is that you have to keep in mind again sometimes there are going to be those instances where you want to get those bonuses and this gives you that opportunity even if you're on track to finish the solo challenges and win it you might want to actually restart it so that you can get the bonus so it's something to think about. It gives you kind of a, a you know a possibility of doing that if that's something that you're interested in. Uh, I definitely think this is a good addition. Now we did also get confirmation that unfortunately there's not going to be a button that's going to make it easy for you to go on to the next solo challenges in the set or in the the series, I should say. Uh, so that's one thing that kind of sucks. He did say Jake Stein did say again on Twitter that that's something that they know that they want to do. It's probably not going to happen this year. But it's still a possibility, I would say. I mean, they added an entire new game mode last year. So I, I think it's very possible that they could still add that in this year's game. But if not, it should be in next year's Madden Ultimate Team, which I know is a long time away. But something to look forward to, at least for next year. So anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor. Go ahead and click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And again, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, again, we're going to try and bring you as much Madden 17 information as we can up until launch. And then and once it's launched, it's all guns a blazing, man. There's going to be a ton of videos on this channel. So be sure to stop on back. Thank you guys so much. And I will talk to you guys again soon.